Browns practicing again today ahead of Saturday's preseason finale against the Bears. And Mary Kay, we heard from Joel Batonio today, and he responded to some of the criticism that he said that he saw he took when he said it was Cleveland against the world. He sort of clarified his comments a little bit and pushed back on some of that criticism. Well, he really did. I mean, anybody that knows Joel Batonio, who is a three-time Good Guy Award winner out here in Berea, uh, everyone knows that he would never say anything against anybody, really. And I think he was just trying to convey that, um, you know, that it, this is tough for the for this football team. And it's it, this is going to be a lot to navigate. And he certainly wasn't using Deshaun as a rallying cry to pull the team together, which is how it was sort of perceived on social media. So uh, he kind of clarified that a little bit today. Ashley, I think there's two lessons here. One, who cares what anybody says on social media? But two, uh, you know, Joel is a smart guy. He thinks about what he says. He's thoughtful. Uh, he wasn't looking to, to make anyone angry with what he said. No, exactly. And Joel Batonio, like you said, Dan, is one of these guys who I think really thinks out every answer. Like I know you were saying, Dan, you asked him a question today about a promotional video where you can see Joel doing a cannonball and he gives a great thought out answer to stuff like that. So not surprising we got a pretty well thought out answer from him on this topic today and him kind of clarifying what he meant. And look, we all know like Cleveland against the world has been a rallying cry for this team for, for basically ever, probably ever since Joel Batonio has been here. So uh, it was good to kind of hear him clarify what he meant originally last week or a couple weeks ago. And Mary Kay, we heard from Jacoby Brissett today. We're going to hear from him every week because he is the starting quarterback. And he had some interesting things to say about how he's using Amari Cooper to make himself better. Yeah, I, you know what? I actually think both of them are doing that. I think they're uh, learning a lot from each other. I think that this is one of the best receivers that Jacoby Brissett has ever played with and certainly probably the best route runner that he's ever tried to throw the ball to. So he's really got to be on top of it when it comes to the double moves and all the different things that Amari can do. So he's learning uh, those things from Amari, and yet Amari turns around and says that Jacoby has, you know, just a real intricate knowledge of the receiver position and what he needs from his receivers and vice versa. So those two are heating up together. And Ashley, it's not a surprise because to hear Amari talk, you can just tell that this guy knows football, loves football, and, and he, he knows what he's doing and what he's seeing out there. Yeah, like you and I have talked about, Dan, when you hear Amari Cooper talk, especially about route running, he almost sounds like a coach, and he's just so meticulous. And Jacoby Brissett said playing with a guy like that, it doesn't necessarily make things easier as a quarterback because nothing is easy, <laughs> but it it is just, I think, overall, you can build a connection with a guy like that. He's always going to be there, you know, where you're going to throw the ball. And, you know, like Mary Kay's talked about, you can learn from each other by having a guy who is that good at his craft like Amari Cooper is. All right, Browns play Saturday night against the Bears, their preseason finale. They've got one more practice before then. Uh, hopefully we'll find out from Kevin Stefanski on Thursday if he plans to play any or some of his starters. Whatever happens, we'll cover it all at cleveland.com slash Browns.